begin this bracelet you want to have three colours and you want to have an equal number of threads for each colour. So you're going to work this bracelet in two sections. So you're going to start with two of your colours and you're going to ignore the third colour. So I'm going to start with the two colours on the left and the centre. So to begin you want to take all the colours on one side and switch the position and I'm going to do this by working with the thread in position number four and I'm going to do four forward knots. So once I've switched the first colour, I'm going to take the next colour, which is in position 3, and I'm going to do the same thing again, doing 4 forward knots. And repeat this with the next two colours so that you've switched all your colours from this side to the centre. So once you switch the first two colours, you want to take the colour that you ignored the first time for the second section and you want to work this one over the colour that's next to it. So to do this, you want to take the thread that's in position 9 and you want to do backward knots over the next four threads. Next, taking the thread that's in position 10, again you want to do backward knots over the next four threads. And you want to do the same thing with threads 11 and 12, each time just doing backward knots over the next four threads until you've switched the position of your colours. So once you switch the colours in your second section, you want to repeat what you did in section 1 and switch the colours on the left until they're in the centre. You want to keep repeating these sections all the way down until you've got the bracelet as long as you want it to be. So 
So once you've got the bracelet as long as you want it to be, you can either go straight into doing your braided tie on ends or you can taper the ends like I'm going to do. So obviously this is going to be slightly off centre because you've got eight threads at one side and four at the other. But if you don't mind it being slightly off centre, you could do your tapering like this. So for your four stranded side, you have to take the one next to the left side and do a backward knot. And then you have to take the one next to those and then do a backward knot over both these threads on the outside. And then taking the next thread, you have to do a backward knot over these three threads. You might want to pull it a little bit tight there just so it pinches right up to the edge. And then once you've done that side, you want to do a mirror at the other side. Only this side obviously will have more threads. So you have to take the thread on the right and the one next to it and do a forward knot. And then keeping these two threads on the right, take the next thread and do a forward knot over both these threads. And then each time keeping the threads you just worked with, taking the next one on the left and working a forward knot over the other threads. And just keep doing this until you've got down to your last thread. So once you've done that, you'll have pinched all your threads into the centre and you can do a three-stranded braid or whichever kind of tie-on you prefer. And once you've got your braided tie on as long as you want, you want to tie a knot in all your threads at the end and you want to do the exact same thing at the other side. And once you've finished, you should end up with something that looks like this. And that is your completed friendship bracelet.